Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a very wide range of vehicle engines, simply, safely and quickly. The videos show the key working steps for workshop professionals. My name is Stefan Meyer and I'll show you a different vehicle engine in each video. Okay, let's get going. Today we'll be looking at a 1.3 liter 55 kilowatt engine from a Deju Lanus manufactured in 2000. Engine code A14 SMS, timing belt kit plus water pump CT874 WP5 and our toolbox V04. Before setting timings, remove the crankshaft sprocket and timing belt guard. There are two marks for setting the timings. At approximately 6 o'clock on the crankshaft sprocket and 12 o'clock on the camshaft sprocket. Unscrew the bolt from the crankshaft belt pulley so we can turn the engine in the direction of engine rotation. You have a mark on the sprocket and a notch at approximately 6 o'clock in the plastic cover. On the camshaft sprocket you can see a notch. This has to align in the 12 o'clock position with the notch in the plastic cover. Turn the engine over slowly in the direction of engine rotation until the mark is aligned. One special characteristic of this engine is that the timing belt is tensioned via the water pump. To remove the timing belt, first loosen the water pump at the three attachment points, then slacken the timing belt off counterclockwise using the special wrench. The timing belt is now loose and can be removed. Then change the remaining components. Take care when fitting the new tensioning pulley. We have a special fitting position. There is a lug here. This lug has to engage this notch in the engine. Okay, the components have now been changed. Next, place the timing belt around the drive. Starting with the crankshaft sprocket, continue counterclockwise until you finish with the belt around the tensioning pulley. Then tension the timing belt. Turn the water pump clockwise using the special wrench from Toolbox V04. Turn the water pump until the pointer on the tensioning pulley extends beyond the edge of the mark. Once the timing belt has been over-tensioned, tighten the water pump again and turn the engine over twice in the direction of engine rotation and then reset the timing belt tension. The engine has been turned over twice. Now reset the timing belt tension. Loosen the water pump and turn it counterclockwise until the lug on the tensioning pulley is aligned with the notch. Why was it important to over-tension the belt initially? We are dealing with brand new rubber. The rubber teeth are new and first have to be made to conform to the belt pulley. By over-tensioning the belt, we pull the rubber teeth into the belt pulleys. This ensures that the rubber conforms to the belt pulleys to avoid later settling. The timing belt tension is correctly set. Tighten the water pump, turn the engine over again twice in the direction of engine rotation and check the timings and tension. Then reassemble the engine in reverse order. Take a look at the PIC. You'll also find special fitting instructions for the engine there. 
Okay, almost done. Now you just have to check everything has been reassembled. Follow the manufacturer's specification, particularly when it comes to the torques. Remember, gently does it. Don't forget our quality mark. Place the change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment so the customer sees that you've installed quality.